for another gym leader battle episode um the recent comment that i saw on one of the videos was for jasmine so we're gonna try out jasmine today the steel type gym leader and um the comment wasn't kidding when they said that jasmine had some pretty good pokemon so let's go take a look here if we start at the top um you know it's just the magnemites and the steelix and this steelix is hilarious it has sunny day for absolutely no reason other than to power up the fire moves that are going to be used against it what which is just i don't know what the point of that is but if we keep scrolling down it's interesting she had a contest pokemon in diamond and pearl so we could use any of these moves technically um the heart gold soul silver one is a bit better as sandstorm but i think this rematch is where we want to get to so look at the pokemon on here we've got a metagross magnezone skarmory bronzong and polion steelix this is quite a good arrangement of pokemon with lots of uh different secondary types so i think most of the ones we're going to use are from here but let's start off with the steelix so we have to decide which move set we want. I'm thinking we want this one, but if we go with this one, we get a citrus berry. Um, but the stealth rocks, you can't really ignore having that on the team. So what else? We got fire fang, screech, stone edge, mud sport. I don't know if that's worth it. So we'll probably just go with this one here. Done. That's actually a pretty good move set for uh, online. So we can scare out some people that are setting up. We also have stealth rocks. Okay. Next up, I think we for sure have to go Skarmory as like a defensive Pokemon. We can set up spikes and do some damage. So let's go with that. Then I think. You, I don't like that Magnezone's ability or the move set. Zap Cannon. Ew, that's pretty garbage. I wonder if we go... Does she have like a Magneton we can use? She does have Magneton in the Pokeathlon. I don't want to use Magnezone with that moveset. So maybe I go... Like, that's pretty bad. Maybe I go Magneton and we copy one of these movesets. That'd probably be better. Um, what else? Metagross for sure. Gravity, Meteor Mash, Bill of Hunch, Explosion. And then we've got Bronzong, I think would be good. Okay, let's do that. Okay, and then our last one is just going to be Empoleon. Looks like a special attacker. Okay, so this is the team we're gonna go with. We're gonna have Steelix first as a bulky physical attacker. The speed is just too terrible, so we don't really have much choice there. Um, we have Skarmory as a defensive wall. Then we've got Magneton as a special attacker. We've got Metagross as a fast physical attacker. Um, Bronzong as a special defensive wall, and then we've got Empoleon as a bulky special attacker. So, I don't know, we'll see. I actually might change Skarmory to... We, don't, we have a lot of defensive Pokemon. Maybe I'll change Skarmory to... We need some more heavy hitters on this team. There we go. See what this team can put together. Okay, so he leads with Fortress. We got our Steelix up here. Not threatened by this thing at all, so I'm going to set up a Stealth Rock. Let's see what she does. Spikes, okay. And then maybe I'll roar this thing out of here. Or we can go Stone Edge. Might actually do decent. Oh, that did nothing. Okay, maybe I'll get it out. He set up his stealth rock, okay. Okay, Infernape is in. I don't love it. And 
I can't really hit it with anything. So that's going to be a problem. Ah, uh, damn. I don't know. I don't want to switch anything into this because we can't really take like fighting or fire. Infernape is detrimental to this team for sure. Let's just roar it out again. Close combat. Maybe I should have attacked it. I thought it might use a fire move and just one shot. Okay, Suicum. Um, I could switch into Suicum, but Steelix is probably dead when it comes back in with these spikes up. So let's just roar one more time. Ice Beam Kit. Okay. I don't know. I maybe misplayed that, but it's hard to say. I thought. That Skarmor, I didn't think that Infernape would lower its defenses like that. Okay, let's go. Uh, what do we want to go to? We go Bronzong. And just use Hypnosis. We'll see if it switches. Hopefully it goes into the Infernape and we get it asleep. That would be nice to do. Hit bowed on. Okay, if I could hit this, that'd be cool. Nice. And then let's go, let's just see what a Dream Eater does. I can at least get the health back. Didn't do a lot. Did not do a lot. Okay, let's take this opportunity to switch. I don't like this Sandstorm, but it will eventually pass. Let's go to Napoleon. <laughs> Hurt by the spikes, he's still asleep. Okay, let's go Hydro Pump. Or, yeah, let's go Hydro Pump and just see. Might switch. It's hard to hit in the Sandstorm. Like, the accuracy is lowered. I don't know by how much, but it's definitely lower. Okay, Fortress. Can we hit this? Yeah, nice. Nice. Okay. Wow. We'll take a... We'll take a Hydro Pump hit in the sand. Why not? Okay, I'm guessing he's going to outspeed me. So let's go Aqua Jet, get some damage. Don't think it'll kill. Did a decent chunk though. Oh, Swords Dance? Oh, you're dead, buddy. Unless you have priority, you're dead. Yes. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yes. Misplay on his part. And he quit. He quit. I think we take that. I think we take that as a win. I don't know, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments, but I think at this point in the battle, we were winning. We knocked out the biggest threat. I don't know what his other two Pokemon were, but I I think that should count. That's a quit where I'm I'm gonna say we won that one. So we got our first win finally. Let's go. Alright, so you guys can let me know if you think this is appropriate, but um you know, if they forfeit at the beginning like that and we don't know how many Pokemon would have been knocked out, I think we're going to do like a 6-3 win. Um, if it's near the end and we've, I don't know, there's like one left and they would have knocked it out, then we'll just call it what it is. But that was near the beginning. I think we were winning. I think they were annoyed and they thought we were going to win, so they quit. So I guess we'll call that 6-3. And it is a win, but um, we obviously... If there's a tie, we're going to value the one that didn't forfeit over the one that did. So, um, But regardless, we got our first win, and we still have two more battles. So let's see what we can do with a couple more. <clears throat> okay, so we got Bronzong versus Steelix. Let's go for a Stealth Rock. He's doing the same. And we can't really touch him, so we'll go for a Roar. Rain Dance is not great. Got a Flygon, which I can't really touch either. I could Iron Tail it. Earthquake, that did a decent amount. Iron Tail does really good. So we could take one more hit. Let's go for it again. Okay, we take that. Can I hit this? Of course I miss an Iron Tail. God damn. <clears throat> well... I don't know what to do. He's maybe go Skarmory. He's good. Oh, he switched too. What? Damn. I did not think he would do that. 
Okay, that thing probably doesn't have too much to hit me, but I don't really have much to hit it either. Could set up spikes. Waterfall. Wow. That did a lot. Um, waterfall shouldn't really hit Empoleon too hard. Okay, resisted and he's good defensively. Let's go Hydro Pump in the rain. Oh, he rapid spun my stuff out of the way. But a Rain Dance boosted Hydro Pump knocks him out. We'd like to see that. We'll take advantage of this rain when we can. <clears throat> Let's see who's going to send him. Infernape. I think it'll outspeed me, but if we Aqua Jet, that could hit really hard. Rain boosted Aqua Jet does over half, and we're going to die to a close combat. But that's good to get that damage off on that thing. Rain stopped. The problem is what can take a hit from Infernape? I don't even... I could Bullet Punch. That would probably kill with his lower defense from there. Yeah, let's do that. Should die. <clears throat> what? Come on, dude. There's no way you survived that. At least he died to his own Flare Blitz. But that's... I don't know about that. Okay. Um, let's go Steelix. Maybe he'll go Bronzong and we can set up our rocks again. Reloom. That thing's probably just going to mock Punch me. But it's not really worth trying to switch around. So... Substitute, interesting, okay. Toxic, yeah. Probably has poison heal. And with the sub up, that sucks. Let's go Iron Tail. He's gonna knock us out. Poison heal, damn. What do I want to try and do to this thing? I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to air slash it to get rid of the sub. It probably has mock punch though, and it's gonna kill me. Spore? Oh my god, dude. What the heck? <clears throat> Can't really hit it with Bronzong. Can't really do much with Magneton. Tightening its focus? Why? What did he. Did he use Focus Punch all in one turn? No, I don't think he did. I don't know what to do. Guess we just go Gyro Ball? I don't think we're that much slower than that. Yeah, he puts him to sleep too. What are we supposed to do? I don't know. Tightening its focus. We're asleep. That did a lot of damage. What a weird Breloom. Okay, I woke up. Gyro Ball. Okay, it did knock out the sub. But Magneton can't really touch this thing because it has a crappy moveset. I think we have to go for a supersonic, like Spore. Yeah, I'm, what do you do? If you can't outspeed this thing, there's not much we can do. Sometimes. Oh, hell no! <laughs> okay, let's do one more battle here. I don't really have anyone that can set up, so. Dragonite. Maybe I just go Stone Edge off the rip and see what he. Oh, he switches instantly. Okay. Go Stealth Rocks then. I missed it anyway, so it didn't really matter. Okay, sets up a Rain Dance just like last time. Weird. This is not the same guy, is it? I don't think so. He didn't have a shiny. Okay, let's go into Empoleon then. Take advantage of the rain. He's going to reflect. We are going to Hydro Pump. Nice. Hard hitting Hydro Pump. He sets up a light screen. It might still kill from here. Yeah, nice. He has the dual screens up though, which kind of sucks. But <clears throat> we'll try to take advantage. Ludicolo. I can't really touch that thing actually. I don't know what it wants to do, but let's go into Skarmory. Focus Blast misses, thank God. And we'll try to air slash it, even though it's 
What? One surf? I'm I'm not sure about that. <clears throat> um That's weird. Maybe I'll thunder wave this thing. Although it's probably faster than me, it probably has swift swim. Why did that kill me? I know Magneton doesn't, but Skarmory has he didn't have stealth rocks up, did he? I don't think it did. Well, I'm just I'm confused. Um Let's see. This thing just outspeeds me and hits really hard. Let's go blizzard. Focus blast missed. I hit pretty good. The focus blast is gonna kill me though. That's the issue. But nobody wants to take it, so. Okay, you survived it. Can I hit a blizzard please? No! Please? Of course not. Of course not. We can aqua jet, but it's not gonna kill, I don't think. No. Life orb should kill him. Yeah. Well, we traded at least. Um, I don't know what to do. Let's go bronze on. Dragonite. Let's go. Let's go hypnosis. Hopefully that hits. Okay. Then we switch to Steelix. He's asleep. And then we go Stone Edge. See if he switches. <coughs> nice. Critical hit. That is what we needed. To get rid of that damn Dragonite. Okay. Gengar shouldn't be able to hit me too hard. I don't know what it has. Nobody wants to take a ghost move, so let's stay in and... That's Iron Tail. Destiny Bond? Oh. Okay, I missed anyway. We could... Let's roar. Focus Blast? Oh. <coughs> Bro, what the heck? It probably has a ghost move. I think Metagross could take one hit, like a Meteor Mash. Now it's gonna... Yeah, now we both go down. That's too bad. Hmm. Okay, Weavile versus Bronzong. That's not a great matchup. Gyro Ball should kill it, but I don't know if he could knock me out first. Fake out. Night Slash is going to do a heck of a lot of damage. Oh wow, we tanked that hard. Gyro Ball? Yes! Okay, what's his last Pokemon? Zapdos? Don't love it. We're going to have to put it to sleep. Oh, he gets a... He got a crit with the thunder, bro. What? I thought we had a chance. That was a good battle, though. All right, so here you have it. We go one and two, so we finally get our win. Even though it was a forfeit, we were doing really well, and obviously the person was frustrated, so they quit. Um, I think we would have won that battle anyways. And then even our last battle, we came very close. That's the first time we've knocked out five in a battle. So um, I think it's safe to say Jasmine is the best gym leader we've used so far. Um, she definitely knocked out the most Pokemon, and uh, we did win a battle. So... We'll take that, our first win. Hopefully this is the start of more wins to come. So uh, let me know what you guys thought of the video. Obviously, if you want to see a gym leader, just type it in the comments. We'll get that one lined up. Um, if you like this one, drop a like on the video and consider subscribing if you're not. And we'll be back with more gym leaders pretty soon. So hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.